guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I can't wait to share uh, with you that I have round two washing my Louis Vuitton so um, since I have washed the truce if you haven't watched it it's uh, I'll include the link in the description below um, so since I washed that I had uh, ladies asking me, uh, have you tried washing uh, your Louis Vuitton with Vachetta? I said no, because I haven't and I'm scared. But since I've tried it, it's like in my, it's like, it's me that when I try something new, when I started doing it uh, the simple way, I have to gradually go to the, you know, to the very difficult one. So gradually now, I am, um, so basically I have washed my Louis Vuitton with Vachetta. So if you are um, someone who are thinking of uh, washing your Louis Vuitton, putting it in a washing because of so many various reasons, like it smells, you can't get rid of the smell, you can't get rid of watermarks, and or you're just curious because um, you just want to put it in a washing machine. So if you are one of those, just uh, keep on watching. So yesterday I washed my Louis Vuitton uh, totally mm damir azor and uh, yeah damir azor was it yesterday yeah yesterday and it was around uh, five o'clock in the afternoon so today is saturday it's not um it's probably around 18 hours now um that i have hang it outside and then before i went to bed i hang it in the bathroom to dry so yesterday let me just tell you yesterday that the, the piping was as dark as this so today here is the result of the piping the piping is now um, brown instead of dark brown so <laughs> and I'm quite happy with the result so yesterday this was soaked soaked uh, wet soak soaking wet so especially this one the shapes here and um, I was expecting the worst to be honest so i was expecting it to be uh to crack and uh when it dried i was expecting it to still be dark which was it, it was yesterday but um it's not fully dry yet it's still um there's another it's still 80 percent wet so the vachetta but um i couldn't be happier with the result the inside otherwise have got uh marks when i washed washed it and it hasn't come off but it has some smell in it before, but of course now it's not. So I was uh, I was thinking of uh, having the. I thought if I wash it, the dirt inside will come off. Of course, there are inks and everything, but it didn't. The smell have come off. Um, the smell of it is is gone. So it's and I'm happy with the result, as you can see. I will compare it to the ones that I have washed today. So anyway, um, I have this uh, Galliera. This Galliera was smelling as well yesterday, old. So I only have washed this uh, in the tap with uh, soapy water, a detergent, uh, the liquid detergent for washing. And then I, uh, in hot water, I just wash it and then brush it and then rinse it and then hang it up and dry. What I've done was, uh, when it was dry, as soon as it came out of the washing machine, this totally MM, I've done it the same thing as this. So it was wet, I, I just uh, take as much water as I can and then pat it with a towel. So what I've done with uh, with these totally as well, I pat, make sure I pat them dry, the, the vachetta. And that one as well because I I washed it in 30 degrees uh, delicate cycle I think it was like 30 uh, minutes and no spin so you take it out soaking so this one I didn't want to put it in the washing because last night I only have this one to wash so I thought no I'm just gonna try and rinse it so wash the lining so now smells really good no more smell so and the canvas smells really good as well so it it has it's got some watermarks here but it's still drying so um all the, it's just got some watermarks all of it because of this you put it inside out and then when you dry it it's soaked on here so the leather trim but it's still it's fine now i'm really happy with that so today this morning i put these two monogram in the washing just because i received them on saturday 
Saturday, I think. If not Friday, Saturday. And when I open them, they're okay, but they smell. Like, really smell. So I thought if I... I, I smell the canvas, it smells. I smell the inside, it smells. So I had to put them in the washing. So this Palermo GM... This Palermo GM and the Odeon MM. So uh, they smell. But now, it smells good. After this video, I'm going to put them outside to hang. Uh, to dry. So they're soaking. So compare. This was... This totally MM uh, was like this yesterday but now look at it so if i show you can you see that can you even see that no um but this is still soaking wet this is still soaking okay so uh, the pipings are good they are dark at the moment but when i took them out took it out it was soaking wet so I checked everything, it was fine. The strap, the 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 handle actually. Oh yeah. The handle I didn't I forgot that you can take them out. I, I otherwise I would have I would have not uh I would have not put them in the with the bag. So when I take them take this out, I realized oh my god, you can take them out. So I took them out before I hang them, so this is like 80% dry. But this one is still soaking, it still needs, I, I I took them out of the machine about 11 o'clock, 11, 12, 1, 2, so it's been like 3 hours now, they're still wet, so, and I'll show you the Audion, Audion uh, MM, so, it's not smells good, it's really dark and it's still drying, everything is good, just dark. So what uh, I've done was um, I put washing uh, liquid in the washing machine and then I put uh, fabric softener as well because the fabric softener is have got um, uh, smells good so it will give a nice smell to your to your bags as well so and I recommend if it's really hot outside don't put them under the sun if it's very very hot put them in the shade if it's windy the the wind will uh gradually will dry these uh the vachetta and the whole bag itself i would also suggest uh to not uh use blow dry or hair dryer if you wanna if it's winter you haven't got a choice you can't take the put them outside to dry use um use hair dryer but in the lowest setting so don't worry about the hot setting lowest setting the cool setting and you have to use it quite far so every 10 seconds turn it off I have, the mistake I have done was, I have washed a pochette accessoire before, inside out. Well, not inside out, I just wash it inside and then rinse it and then uh, drain it and then uh, I pat it dry. And then I realised, oh my god, I wet the whole vachetta and then on the side, the side leather tab where the heat stamp is. And then I, I blow dry it, hot setting, I think it was just the cool medium hot the medium and then after doing that the vachetta went brittle and then it cracked so don't ever i would suggest not to use hair dryer at all if you haven't got a choice just use the cool setting and really far so uh, outside is really nice this totally mm have dried in the in the bathroom last night it was hanging and drying like that and in the uh, out as soon as I woke up, I put it outside to dry as well. I put it on the clothes or horse So that's what I'm doing. So at the moment they are under the Sun But I kept turning them because I was downstairs turning them keep uh, to Turning them uh, every now and then but when it's really hot you put them in the shade put them in the shade hanging um, Try and make sure they're not uh, bent because you might break you might uh, risk of breaking the like this one if you put it bent like that it, you might risk of breaking the piping so uh, just be careful on hanging them or putting them somewhere they don't scratch and but um, I'm really happy with the result it's not even dried yet so I thought I would film this and show you because I have this totally mm already almost dry and these are probably 20% dry really dark you can see that 
it's really dark. Ah, there you go. It's really dark compared to this. There you go. It, this is dark patina and this looks like medium. And um, I had this uh, listed already and it's it was because of the this one. That's why it's not selling. I think this one. That's scratching there. But otherwise it doesn't smell anymore. I'm so happy. So, and yeah, I have this um i have a client who bought this a palermo gm from me but it wasn't this one so if you're watching don't freak out because i haven't shipped her yet um i haven't posted it out so it's it's a different one i'm not gonna do that because she already paid so this one so i can uh list this for sale soon or it will be on my live sale so I think that's for the video for today and I'm just searching which one which one is um, actually good to put in the washing machine so I was thinking this one is too big it's too big for the washing machine I don't want it to to bend and then it, it when it's because when it's wet it's too uh, risky for it to uh, break or you know break uh, the vachetta will break something like that so something that is slouchy and medium sized you can put but I've tried this I've done this <laughs> I've done this but you have to put it in the washing machine this uh Valermo and put it in the washing machine really nice like you know that it wouldn't bend when it yeah it's just it's probably just pure luck so just put a nice small and uh, medium uh slouchy bag hobo bag uh, speedy ones are okay don't put something that are structured I wouldn't like Deville, uh, Alma, I wouldn't put those uh, in the washing machine. So disclaimer, I forgot to tell you in the beginning of this video, disclaimer, please, please be sure that you are taking the risk when you want to try putting your Louis Vuitton or any handbag uh, in the washing machine. So it's not because I was successful in doing it, you will be successful. It depends. Some ladies have told me actually, that uh, they put uh, the this particular lady has put her key pulse 60 in the washing machine three times already so what she's done was uh, uh, he, she's done it inside out so it's inside out in the washing machine so she said it's fine I mean it depends um, I think she said cool wash is it cool wash another another lady have said it was a cold wash but my washing machine doesn't have a setting for cold wash without spinning my the cold wash in my washing machine have got a spin and i don't want to spin because it's it's really really fast it might uh damage the louis vuitton the bag so what i have done was a delicate cycle which was 30 degrees and uh no spin so it, it i think it ran uh 30 to 40 minutes something like that but the most important thing is you don't you shouldn't have a setting with a spin so no uh, more than 30 degrees that's the hottest setting that you might take otherwise you're gonna ruin your bag so um, I think that's it for today really um, yeah, I was so excited I was so excited to try it and I'm gonna be doing this from now on <laughs> I know most of you ladies have been blaming me for um, influencing you on washing your Louis Vuitton from now on so anyway just be safe be careful and um, don't forget to like this video it will help my little uh, channel you know to grow and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe I will be grateful if you did and I hope to see you in my next video